Hello everyone and welcome to my new dolly paint video. You ask me quite often in the comments to make a pregnant doll and honestly I really like the idea and the only problem was that I didn't really have the complete concept of this project in my head like what kind of a pregnant woman should it be just any woman expecting a baby or maybe it should be someone really famous but strangely enough every time when I would think about this project the only look, the only picture I had in front of my eyes was Beyonce in her iconic golden dress at Grammy two years ago. So I think today it's time to recreate this iconic look and also to make the very first pregnant doll on my channel. And I'm also very happy and proud to announce that this video today is sponsored by makers of June's Journey game. You know, I kind of like playing games on my phone while I'm waiting for sealant to dry, you know, I have always 30 to 40 minutes completely free. And this is exactly the kind of a game that I like to play. In this game you need to help June, the main character, to investigate the murder of her sister by finding hidden objects in different locations and then getting clues to progress in your investigation and to solve the mysterious murder in the end. And what is very important for me is that the scenes are really pretty. They are colorful, they are well drawn, and I also like that the story is very thrilling with lots of twists and revealing family secrets, you know, all these things. So I'm showing you now actually just the very beginning of the game to give no spoilers because it all changes pretty quickly and already from the beginning of the second chapter. So the story is happening in the 1920s and I think we should make a doll in this style one day, guys. What do you think? Because I really adore these haircuts, these styles. I think it looks really good. And I don't know, I just really like this kind of sphere in games and films. All these retro detective stories with quests and puzzles. And you better be quick and find all the objects very quickly. Then you can get some bonus points and decorate your mansion and the territory around it. Because there is also such an option. It's like some mini Sims part of the game where you can shop for different objects and place them where you want. This game is available both for iPhone and Android and I will add the links to the both stores in the description box. And it's free to download, it's also important to say of course. So if you also like diving into these kind of old-fashioned retro detective stories, I think you might also love this game and I wish the makers of this game all the best with their products because it's really good and for us it's time to dive into doll transformation. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, done? Okay, then let's start. For this makeover I will use this Claudia doll and she seems the only right option for me because she has a bigger body that looks more adult and it will look more natural because regular monster high size dolls would look like some pregnant teenagers and they're not really correct. So first of all I've removed all the accessories and the outfit, cut her hair very very short and then I'm making her head soft to be able to remove it from the body and to melt all the glue inside of the head. And for this I'm using my hair dryer like always. And then I pull out the rest of the hair together with the glue using my old rusty tweezers. I use pure acetone to remove the doll's original makeup. And then I'm going to use the same acetone to shrink the head. Monster High dolls have quite disproportionately big heads, let's be honest. So since we're going for a more realistic look today, let's make the head smaller. For this I soak the head in pure acetone for 48 hours and then it becomes actually bigger, I would even say quite huge and soft and feels like some jellyfish but then I let it dry for another 48 hours and the head becomes very hard and it gets seriously smaller. 
You can see, now it's even smaller than some regular Frankie's hat. Ah, normally Claudia has a bigger hat and a bigger body, but now the hat has become seriously smaller. Let's also cut off the animal ears, because I don't think our Beyonce will need them today. Then I'm also removing the wolf teeth, because I also don't really think it's Beyonce her style. Another important detail is to make the hole as big as it was before shrinking, otherwise the neck will simply will not be able to go in. I use the regular size body and a pencil as a reference and then I make the hole bigger with my Dremel. And probably the last thing I want to change in her face for now is the shape of her nose, because it's completely different than the one from Beyonce. So, let's do some plastic surgery, or let's say vinyl surgery today, and change a little bit the shape of the nose. Now I will let her head for a while, and I will work on her body. The mission today is to give her a realistic looking pregnant belly. And for this I will use of course my epoxy sculpt again. So I've removed the glossy top from the surface on her body and now I'm sculpting a belly and then I let it dry for 24 hours. Another problem is that with such a flexibility of her joints, this doll would not really be able to hold the microphone next to her mouth in a natural position. So I am going to increase the range of movement of her elbows by cutting some extra plastic that is staying on the way. And I think you can clearly see the difference in the end. Ok, let's move on and play with colors. If we take a look at the reference picture, and actually at any picture of Beyonce, you will see that she has a different skin shade, because it has some more warm and honey tones in it. So I will mix here some shades of acrylic paint and then I will create a new skin tone for her using my airbrush. And I'm going to start with the lightest shade that's supposed to be on her face, so please, don't be scared. I'm not just turning this doll white, no, it's not happening, everything will be good in the end. And I will try to get very close to the Beyonce original skin tone. It's just easier to work like this, first make the canvas light. And then add shading using darker colors, and this is exactly what I'm going to do now. Of course it's not done yet, I will still make her skin more finished using soft pastels, but right now I think I can spray the face and the body with Mr. Super Clear sealant, and while the sealant is drying, let's prepare the pencils and a set of pastels. And I really love the color range today, all these pencils look so pretty together. Now let's open the reference picture and sketch the eyes and the eyebrows. She is smiling on this picture and the doll is actually also smiling. And when we are smiling, our cheeks and lower eyelids go up and the eyes look smaller and like longer in some way. Less round, I can see. 
Beyonce has quite a soft, round-shaped eyebrows. It's completely different than, for example, the sharp-shaped eyebrows of Audrey Hepburn that we've made here a couple of weeks ago. Now I want to work on her skin tone some more and give it even more warmth. Okay, the skin tone looks really good to me now, and I think it's time to take my pencils and to draw everything more detailed. Now I also want to draw the smiling lines, because you see they're quite active on the original picture. The lipstick on the picture looks very nude, it's just a little bit darker than the skin color, so let's do the same now. I protect this layer with a sealant, and then I draw the white squares of her eyes, add grey shadows to them, and then I also draw the waterline using the red pencil. Then with the white and grey pencils, I draw the smile. And now it's time for the highlights. I'm looking at the reference picture and just highlight the same spots I see there. But it's very important to blend the pencils really perfectly, because you don't want to have pencil stripes on her face. With a super sharp black pencil, I draw the bottom eyelashes, eyeliner, and some details in her eyes. Using white acrylic paint and an extra fine brush, I add highlights to the eyes. Now let's move to the dress and to the accessories. And of course, I can see it already that it will take a long time, but there is nothing to do, yeah? I will use this nude stretch fabric for the dress, and first of all I need to create a form that will fit her new pregnant body perfectly. I'm using a special marker to sketch the pattern on the dress, and later when the job is done, I will be able to remove it easily with water. But first I will sit here for two days with a bag of tiny crystals and a special hot tool for attaching them, and I will decorate this dress crystal by crystal.
You see, now I can remove the marker with a little bit of water. And then I need to sew all the parts together, add velcro to the back, and the dress is done! The next step is making this gorgeous sun looking crown. And as a basis of it, I'm going to use this regular plastic silver crown, but first I want to cut off the parts that I don't actually need. Then I make a sketch of the crown on paper, protect it with tape, and then I build all the parts of the crown using my 3D pen. And then I connect them all together. The front of the crown I decorate with roses and then I spray it all with gold acrylic paint and not just the crown but also all kinds of the accessories, the bracelets, necklaces, shoes and here is even a tiny doll microphone. And now I think it's time to make a very long, very fluffy, very gorgeous wig using this golden hair. By the way, look how much bigger is a wig made for a regular size Monster High doll. It's just huge for my doll now, and she used to have a bigger head and a bigger body. So I really like this head shrinking thing, it really works. I want to make the roots of the hair a little bit darker using acrylic paint and a piece of some sponge. And like this her hair will look more realistic and also closer to the original. Now I can finally put the head and the body back together, attach the false lashes and add glossy acrylic varnish to her eyes and lips. I slightly trim the lashes and now let's put everything together. And finally it's time to see the end result of my work. What do you think? 
To me, she looks completely ready for some more awards and some more new babies. I didn't really plan to post this doll around the Grammy weekend, but I'm also happy in some way about this coincidence. So please write me in the comments all your thoughts and impressions and I will read them and get inspiration for new projects because this is how it works in some way. And I also want to ask you guys, please watch my new video next week Friday because I'm working on a completely new format for my videos right now because it kind of feels that I'm ready for something bigger here on YouTube. And it's very important for me to know what you think about it. Because I'm really working hard on it already for three weeks and I'm very nervous but also very excited to show it to you. It's gonna be, by the way, the next doll from my Zodiac collection. I will make a Pisces doll this time. And please watch it even if you're born under another Zodiac sign or if you don't care about all these horoscopes. Because I really need to know what my audience, what my people think about it. Yeah, I really hope that this new kind of video will be more entertaining, more informative and also more interactive in some way. But the main thing stays the same. Every week Friday we will gather here to restyle new dolls. So please don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell button if you want to see what I'm going to make next. Oh, yeah, you already know it's gonna be Pisces. No? Then subscribe if you want to know what it's gonna be in two weeks, for example. And of course, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to let YouTube know that this video was worthy of something and can be recommended to other people as well. And for now, I wish you an amazing weekend, have fun, make art, love you guys, bye!